Hello everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and an overview of what is inside this large box. It's a 3D printer from XYZ. It's called the DaVinci 2.0 Duo 3D printer. Let's start off with a quick unboxing. It's a very large box. Total weight is over 60 pounds, but the weight of the uh, 3D printer itself is about 54 pounds. Inside the box, of course, you have a variety of accessories, uh, starting with a plastic scraper. So this is used to scrape off the tray if it gets uh, remnants of the uh, filament material on there. Uh, pretty standard inclusion with a 3D printer these days. You also get some documentation here. So this is going to be uh, your product manual with some advanced tools. Uh, print bed adjustments as well as service code information. They've added an important notice as well with some specific information for setting up the printer for the first time and uh, some specific tips on that. It does come with an included limited warranty from XYZ. That's one year for parts and labor. You also get your XYZ printing uh, software disk right here. So this is going to include XYZWare, which is the software that you can use to take your 3D models, import them, and actually start your print jobs going. And then uh, our printer here came with two of the uh, filament spools from XYZ. So we have uh, uh, two of these. Since this is a duo, it actually has two extruders on it. Uh, these filament spools have a small chip on the bottom that lets the XYZ printer know that you have XYZ filament spools installed. Uh, again, this is red. We also have white that's included. Next up, let me show you how to install these. Take a look here at the back of the 3D printer. We have a panel that simply opens like so. And then we have uh, two spaces back here for the two filaments that can be installed. Both of them have some small plastic clips on to hold them in place. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of my filament cartridges and just drop it straight down in like so. Then we go ahead and replace the plastic clip just to keep that from wobbling around. Uh, now we have a bit of the filament that's coming out here as well. We're just going to feed that right through this little tube. That will bring it over into the main chamber. And from there, we would feed the filament into the extruder. And XYZ is recommending clipping this at an angle in order to assist with that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave that hanging. And then we will take our second filament and drop that in as well. This one's red. And we'll do the same thing and feed that over into the main 3D printing chamber. So I've shown you guys how to install your filament into the printer, but uh, what about the printer itself? Well, this is uh, basically a large cube, and inside this cube is where the 3D printing goes on. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with 3D printing, I will give a very basic and rudimentary description of it. Essentially, at the top of this machine, you have uh, what is known as extruders. Those extruders uh, have little nozzles on the bottom. It takes this plastic filament, which is uh, ABS or PLA. Those are the two uh, types of plastic filament that this printer is uh, compatible with. It heats that up. It's known as a thermal pla thermoplastic. So when it gets warm, uh, it's able to actually make it into a very, very tiny filament. And then by bringing the base plate up, because the base plate is on its own little motor, uh, it can actually start to put that plastic onto the base plate. It starts to build, and then it builds higher and higher up beyond that. Uh, look up some time lapses of 3D printing online, because it's really fascinating. It can take a while, depending on the size and the volume of what you're actually printing, though. But more on to uh, specifically the, the DaVinci uh, 2.0 itself. The size here is 20 inches by 22 inches by 18.4 inches, which means this is a fairly substantial unit, so make sure you have the desk space to place it if that's where you're intending on putting it. However, the large size of the printer itself means that you have a larger size for the build volume inside. That's the uh, amount of space you have that dictates how large of a 3D model you're actually able to print. Internal size is 7.9 by 5.8 by 5.8 inches. That's uh, 15 by 20 by 20 centimeters for those of you on the metric system, which is a fairly large size, uh, especially for a printer at this price point. This printer also is capable of a resolution of 100 to 400 microns. Uh, a resolution is referring to how detailed the 3D print job internally can get. Uh, so you have default specs of 200, 300, and 400 microns, but it is flexible and you can use the software to print as detailed as 100 microns. Apart from that, for connectivity here towards the back of the printer, you simply have an AC power plug uh, on-off switch, and then there's a standard USB-B plug, so that's USB 2.0. You can use that to plug that in, connect it up to your computer, and then you can use the included XYZ software in order to import your 3D models that you designed or that you've downloaded from places like Thingiverse, and you can then print them on your 3D printer and make them into reality. Of course, you also have some controls available directly on the DaVinci uh, 2.0 Duo as well. These are up here on the top right, so you have a, a screen up here that will provide some information. Then you can use these controls to do some automated functions such as uh, setting up to install new filament, cleaning off old filament, or doing calibration tests. 
And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, this has been the XYZ DaVinci 2.0 Duo 3D printer featuring dual extruders for printing two-color projects, as well as a very large print volume. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think of this printer, and if you think 3D printing has come a long way in the past year or two. Also, you can find links to this product in the video's description. We'll see you all next time.